How's it going, everybody? Lucian Sword here, about to play some more Brawlhalla today, as always. And what a day it is, because, <laughs> well, look for yourself. Assassin's Creed has entered Brawlhalla. I mean, it's something that I kind of expected, but I didn't know if it would ever happen. Like, because honestly, Ubisoft acquired Brawlhalla or whatever years ago. Like, it's been years. And they have brought other Ubisoft, like, crossovers, but Assassin's Creed I always thought would be a good one. And it's finally here. So let's go ahead and see what is added to the game. First of all, you can see the main menu is completely different. And listen to the song. I'm not going to, like, jam out to it right now, but I want you guys to listen to it because... If you listen to the whole song, it's actually an original song that combines the Assassin's Creed theme song with the Brahalla theme song. And it's just really, really cool. But anyways, here we are in the store. So we have three skins for Ezio. And Ezio is not just a crossover skin. Ezio is his own legend, just like Rayman. So... Let's take a look at these. We have Revelations Ezio. Very cool, very cool. And by the way, Ezio uses sword and orb, obviously. Um, I was expecting, you know, katars, but he does still use his katars. Or I mean, his like hidden blades. They're just like in the signatures. So I don't know why Ezio has an orb. He never really had an orb weapon in the games, but uh, yeah. Another thing that I'm kind of missing is his regular outfit like Ezio's regular Assassin's Creed outfit is like white or you know that kind of I don't know these these ones are cool but I would have liked to have seen his regular Assassin's Creed outfit so those are the three Ezio skins and we're gonna play all three of them today for sure we also have the desynchronization KO effect which is really cool it's what happens when you basically die in Assassin's Creed games you don't really die you're just desynchronized because you're actually just in a machine viewing memories from ancient times or whatever i don't know if you've never played assassin's creed it is like it's a really good game series obviously and then we have eivor and eivor is actually an epic crossover skin for Bryn, uh, not her own legend like Ezio. eivor is the main protagonist of assassin's creed valhalla which is the newest assassin's creed and uh cool thing about it though is you do have custom custom signature graphics even though it's for Bryn, they look a lot different and uh i guess you get to choose between the male or female eovor so that's pretty cool next up we have the leap of faith emote which is again if you played assassin's creed games you know what this is basically after you get a synchronization point which like uncovers part of the map you almost always are going to do a leap of faith off and land in like a, a bush of hay like this so <laughs> i love it we're actually going to go ahead and and buy that emote right now all right, last but not least, guys, they also added a bunch of avatars. And I'm not just talking one or two. We have six new Assassin's Creed avatars. Quite a few for, for an event like this. So I'm going to go ahead and get the Assassin's Crest. This one is basically the logo of Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is not my favorite Assassin's Creed, but it's basically the closest thing to the Assassin's Creed logo that we have out of all these options. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that. All right, so I did get a couple uh, codes for Assassin's Creed characters, and I have some extra codes for Eivor and Ezio, and I'm gonna be dropping those codes in the comments after the video. Uh, but for now, I'm going to be activating some here. Hopefully they work, so I can show you guys. Ezio, all right, there's the armor of Brutus, Ezio, beautiful. And, oh, so, Oh, my bad. Okay, so base Ezio is actually white. Okay, so the Arbor of Brutus one is just like... Okay, that, okay, my bad. I thought they didn't have a white one, I guess. So he is normally his default, and then Arbor of Brutus is actually a skin for him. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, so I have uh, another code real quick. Basically, disregard what I said about them not having the white Assassin's Creed clothes. All right, so there we go. We got Eovar, but I'm going to... Oh, and Brain. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, let's go ahead and get the other ones, too. Um, I want to get Revelations. Ezio, I wish they had 
Um, was it like Cassandro and Alexios from Assassin's Creed Odyssey? That's one of my favorite, but oh well. And then the Asgardian Ezio. This one is definitely the Brawlhalla theme. So that looks amazing. All right. And then uh, I'm also going to buy the KO effect, desynchronization. We're going full in on Assassin's Creed. This is like one of my favorite franchises. And for them to add it to Brawlhalla is not insignificant. It's a big deal to me. This is prob This could be very well the best crossover that has ever come or will ever come to Brawlhalla. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. And I'm going to support it all the way. And uh, we're going to go equip this KO effect. Ah, it's up here. Okay, so desynchronization KO effect. There we go. Everything else looks fine, I think. All right, so we got all of the Assassin's Creed skins. Now let's play some games, right? So here is Ezio at the very end of the list of new legends. Where is he? Right here. Boom. So his default is white. I mean, obviously, there's different colors for the white version. And then uh, we also have... Armor of Brutus, which has different colors as well. I don't really have a lot of colors, I'm noticing. We got Revelations. Ah, so like if I go Code of Lions on any of these, it basically makes it look like the white. So, I mean, the, the colors really do a good job. And then look how like glowing and bright the orb is. That's pretty crazy. All right, so first game, we're going to do default. Uh, but before I forget, I actually just thought of something. Let's go look at the colors, because we're in Heat Wave event. Oh, man. We can't buy Heat Wave Ezio. I thought the Heat Wave... Oh, man. So, apparently the Heat Wave event is over. I thought we might have, like, one day of crossover where we'd be able to get the Heat Wave event for Ezio. Sorry, Ezio. You're going to have to wait an entire year to get uh, Heat Wave colors. All right. So, let's just do base. Base everything, Ezio. You can see his stats there. Pretty balanced. Emphasis on dexterity and speed, which... Makes sense for Assassin's Creed Ezio. All right, guys. This is literally my first time ever playing Ezio, so don't laugh if I'm like terrible. We're gonna we're gonna learn the moves and everything together. I've never actually used his signatures. I've never used Ezio at all, so this is my very 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 first time playing Ezio. <laughs> I want to just like learn what the signatures hitboxes are and like what they do, but hopefully this guy don't go too hard on me. Whoa, what was that? All right, let's do down sig. Whoa! So the down sig was like... It it reminded me of uh, Sidra. Sidra's sword down sig is really cool. Wow, I love how the... Ooh, that was so cool. He doesn't have like attacks like that in the game, but it's still cool. Oh my goodness. Ezio! Whoa! I don't even know what I did. I uh, there's the desynchronization. Alright, let's So cool. The sound effects too. All right, let's try out the sword signatures. I'm gonna do neutral. Okay. Ooh, the side sig does like a straight up just assassination. I think we're both just learning the sigs to be honest. Oh, that was cool. Oh, so I hit up and spike them down. That is cool. The down sig, I'm still learning, like, what that even is. It kind of reminds me of, like, a Taros axe down sig so far. Wow, I didn't even realize we, we killed him twice. Dude, I like him. He's fun. I want to hit with the down sig on sword and the neutral sig on orb. 
That's like the two si the two uh, moves I have yet to really. Wow, that is a weird hit. Like the down seg on orb. What? Like, see, I don't even know what happened there. Did he hit me with a down sig too? I need to. I need to try out these sword. Okay, I know it's a neutral sword. What does the sword down sig do? I'm trying to hit that. All right, if I hit the sword down, there it is. Oh, weird. That is a really unique signature. That one right there, down sig on sword. Ah, well, GG dude, GG. All right guys, our first game with uh, Ezio is a, is a win, that's cool. I mean, obviously I was just sig spamming the whole time. Pretty much he was too, but probably his first game as well. You know what I mean? All right, Willow leaves for more decks. Ooh, I also forgot, guys. We have new weekly missions for Battle Pass. Hmm. Be cool if they had an Ezio-themed one, but... All right, we're not going to focus on those today. Let's look at the Asgardian Ezio. Let's play a match with this. <laughs> I got a feeling every single game is going to be Ezio, Ezio. Uh, but after I do all the Ezio skins, I'm going to do Eivor. So don't go anywhere if you want to see Eivor. I'm just going to play one match with each Ezio skin first because I want to see which one I like the best and everything. And it, honestly, it's just training for like getting to know his SIGs. Ow. Oh, I love that move. Even if I'm getting hit with it, it's still cool. <laughs> oh, I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. That's a big hitbox. Like, literally, it's just a big box. Yeah, get out of here. I really like the sword neutral sig. That one for sure is nice. Get down. I'm not sure if I like like the sword side sig and the orb side sig are almost the same. No, I killed myself. I'm so dumb. Oh, wow. He Okay, he didn't have to do that. We're just playing casual, but... Hey, man, I'll give him a taunt for that. Love it. Love these signatures and these... These Ezio versus Ezio battles are awesome. Okay, so it is basically like a uh, Sidra sword down sig. I, it's almost the same exact move. I want to say it's not quite as good as Sidra down sig, unless it grabs like in the middle of the move like Sidra sword down sig does. But all right, so that's actually one of the best sigs in the game anyway. All right, last but not least, guys, let's do Revelations Ezio. This is one of the few Assassin's Creed games that I actually did not play. I've, I've played all of them except for a few. Like, I've played Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and 3. I played Origins, Odyssey, Valhalla, uh, Black Flag. The only ones I haven't played are, like, Revelations, Unity, and Brotherhood. And then, like, if there's any on mobile or something like that. But I've played all the rest. My favorites are Assassin's Creed 1 and 2... Um, Origins and Odyssey. Valhalla's good too. Oh man. Yeah, I got a. 
I gotta watch out for that orb down sig. It's like really a, a, a good move. Yeah, I can do that move too. Oh my gosh, I landed on him and it still didn't hit. What? Okay, apparently I'm not using the orb desig, or I mean, sorry, neutral sig nearly as much as I should be. Oh, I destroyed him on that one. The down sig is like a get off of me move. Like, you know what I mean? You hit it and it's more like a defensive. Uh, it's really hard to hit though because they really have to be on you to hit. Let's get some damage off on this dude here. Oh, oh. Oh, get out of here. Desynchronization. All right, let's try this orb. I'm not using it very well, am I? Yeah, I'm starting to get the, uh, the feel for the hitbox. I don't think I've hit orb neutral sig once. There, finally. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's dead. Yep. GG, dude. He kind of messed up. He could have got back, but GG, dude. GG. All right. One more game with uh, Ezio, guys. One more game with Ezio. We're going to Eivor. We did base. We did Asgardian. We did Revelations. Finally, let's do Arbor of Brutus, Ezio. Then we'll go Eivor. For those of you who actually played Assassin's Creed Valhalla, did you do female Eivor or male Eivor? I did female. Mostly just because I did male uh, in Odyssey. I did Alexios. And honestly, Alexios is cool, but my friend did uh, Cassandra in Odyssey, and I kind of like her better. Like her voice line, like her voice acting, and just her character looks cool. Alexios was cool, though. So in the next one in Valhalla, I did a uh, female character. Oh my goodness, he died from that. I don't think this guy has played against uh, an Ezio or he's still learning how to defend against these SIGs. Ow, oh my goodness, never mind. He knows how to play against Ezio. Ow, ow, we're still doing great. Oh my gosh. Dude, he just keeps spamming those side six. I mean, I don't blame him. They are a big hitbox, but there's more than one way to get a kill. That box is so big, dude. Just bomb. Bomb. It's just an instant. They got to nerf that. Look at that. Instant. Almost impossible to punish. Like, are you kidding me? If they jump at all, it's just boom. Basically side light and then hold hold neutral sig because every time I do it fast It's literally too fast and he oh shoot. I meant to do a down air <laughs> down dodge It's too fast and he dodges it. So I need to do like a, a hold down on the neutral sig It would be very satisfying, but I might actually kill him with a sword Before we oh the reversal so it literally throws them the other way. I mean, I didn't think of that, but if you're standing next to the edge and down sig facing with your back to the edge, it turns around and just throws them straight down. That is sick. All right, well, that is Ezio, guys. Now we're going to play some Eivor. 
Man, Aurora Brynn has quite a few nice skins, doesn't she? Quite a few crossover skins, too. So we have Eivor. How do I pick between male and female Eivor, though? Like, I only see the regular female Eivor. I don't know, but... Oh, wow. Goldforge. Skyforge. Seeing Eivor with dark hair is interesting. Um, all right. Yeah, I'm just going to go default. I just want to look at all the colors real quick. We have black. For the first match, I always go default. Then we have a nice Viking axe, Varen's axe, and uh, Gungnir. Literally, like, Odin's spear. So, pretty awesome. I wonder how Thor feels about that. About the fact that we have his father's spear. That is his father's spear, right? I'm not, I'm not wrong on that, right? Alright, so here's the, uh, the Sigs. Alright, here we go, guys. Playing as Eovor from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So cool. Would have been pretty cool if she had her own legend too, like Ezio, not just a crossover skin, Three, but that's okay. Two, one, Bryn fits four. her perfectly. Bryn actually has a skin that already looks like Eovor, Shield Maiden Bryn. Shield Maiden Bryn basically is a, a Viking Bryn. I'm pretty good with Bryn just because I used to play her a lot, like... When I first got into Brahalla, especially. So I should win this game, but playing with a crossover is a little bit weird because. Sweet! I'm not quite used to it, but her sigs are the same, they just look a little bit different. I love her sigs. I've always liked Bryn's signatures, especially the Axe Neutral Sig. <laughs> it's just so good. I feel I feel like I shouldn't be only using the uh, Axe Neutral Sig, so we'll use some spear as well. Oh my goodness. Ogrim with the side sig. I knew he was going to do that. I don't know why I did that. I don't know why I did that. Well played, dude. Well played. Ogrim neutral sig on axes. One of the most satisfying hits. Let me uh, sweep you over there, buddy. I would love to hit with the side sig because then I would have hit with like every sig. Side sig is so hard to hit for some reason. He's kind of bullying me. He's kind of bullying me now. Oh man, he's gonna reverse. We can't. We can't let the reverse three stock happen. At all costs, right? Die, Ulgrim, die. Ah! <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Battery acid. All right, guys. Time to finish this up. In style. Hopefully. With a boat. I want to hit him with the long boat. Let me hit you with it. Okay, fine, that one. GG, dude, GG. Well played. Wow, guys, I can't believe Assassin's Creed is in Brawlhalla, but you know what? It's 2022. Things are good. So let me know what you guys think of the Brawlhalla Assassin's Creed crossover event. And wow, 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 right? There's also a new mode, Rooftop Rumble, which we didn't play, which is basically uh, it, it creates like a juggernaut character and... Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty cool game mode. We might check that out in the next episode, but let me know what you guys think. And as always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next episode. Take it easy, friends.